Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. You guys already know what time it is, man. And happy Thanksgiving to all you guys. You guys already know. But right now, let's get started. I did promise you guys the SUV garage. Yes, we are we about to do the SUV garage right now. But um, I do have some work to do, of course. Let's get downstairs. I wanted to do the tow truck job, but um, I don't know, man. We do have a couple cars to move over there. So we're going to check like each one of the garage and see if we can actually find some SUVs. So, um, you know what? The Trackhawk might be one of them, but I want the different Trackhawk though. So we're going to the Trackhawk garage. Let's let's take the center. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. Of course, I hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving, man. Did you guys get a chance to eat yet? Let me know, man. Let me know. But right now, let's go. Oh my. Oh my goodness, yo. I love this Santa. Let's go. Wait, wait, how are you talking about he's over there already? Alright, just like I said, guys, I'm heading to the um I guess let's go to the Mopar garage. The Mopar garage might be the best garage to give us like depend on the track hog though. But if I end up picking the, the wrong one, guys, you guys let me know if you guys want to see a different one. Yo, I might end up whoa, 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 whoa. driving the Santa everywhere today, man. Let me know how you guys feel, man. Oh, that was a nearly miss. That was definitely a nearly miss, bro. Let's see the interior of this Santa. Oh, I can't change the settings like that. All right, so you guys remember this girl? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just realized I was about to go all the way on the other side. You know what? Let's go this way. <laughs> the cop always said they spot me. Man, you didn't see me, bro. I don't know if I have anything in the BMW garage, though. I was about to go all the way around for no reason. All right, let's park this right here. Yeah, I won't need it anymore. Can you imagine whipping a Santa like that? That would be crazy. Just whipping a Santa like that, though, man. All right, so um, I think I do have two track cock in there. Let's grab one. Not the one that I have in my garage. That's why I'm thinking about like just getting the other one. And definitely a big shout out to my boy Potato. Oh, what about the Durango in our SUV garage too, man? I think the Durango might do some good too. All right, so if you had a choice between two track hawk, this or that, let me know. I think they are both by Potato, right? Let me see. This is by Potato Mods. Shout out to you, Potato. And this is by Potato Mods. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You guys already know how we do. Um. I don't know, man. Which one would you pick? I like the single, ex like the the way it's like in the back like that. But the red one just hit different. I think this is like clo the closest to Chief Keith track hawk over here, as you guys can see the interior. So what I'm gonna do is just take a taxi back. I think we might put the Durango in our garage too. Let me know what you guys think. And also, I hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving. All right, so. Um, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm actually gonna purchase this garage over here, so we have to just park. You see, I already have a couple cars parked over there. I hope you guys gonna enjoy that too. Let's go. Taking the track off over there, man. By the way, guys. So before I start this episode, there was a uh, there was a Hellcat. I I mean I I decided to take out the GTR because I had a couple runs to do. And uh, whenever um, I'm not taking out the family and stuff like that, I'm like, all right, GTR time, you know, it's it's the time that I just do what I do. But this this Hellcat decided just I don't know this cat won't this Hellcat was trying to do a flyby. You know when somebody's trying to do a flyby and you're like, yeah, just wait until you get close enough. Like I'm talking about, like he's maxing it out. I wait until you get like really close to my car and took off. <laughs> I know he was mad. Then after that, I gave him a chance. I moved to the next lane and, you know, 
do that, but I just realized I was getting chased by a cop. Because I don't like when people do that, man. Why people with fast cars be trying to like do a flyby? I mean, they think they have a fast car. That's what that's what I'm trying to say. The Trackhawk is fast, but come on, man. If your GTR is that fast, there's no way. Like, and the guy said he had over a thousand horsepower. That was like lies, lies. Plus, if a Trackhawk have over a thousand, I mean, not a Trackhawk, the Hellcat. If the Hellcat have over a thousand horsepower, and oh shoot. You guys didn't see that. You guys did not see that, man. He got me. All right, all right. He got me on that one. I can't run because I just parked, bro. All right, so we got the Range Rover. You got the Urus. We got what is that up front? The BMW, right. the Jeep. How you doing, man? Seventy-eight. Anymore, you know? Hey, man. Don't don't be coming at me like that. I'm just trying to park, man, and you come at, you came at me like that. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, so guys, anyway, let's park this. I mean, let's leave this here. Let's go purchase this property. Wait, do I have enough money though? Oh my goodness, I don't even have enough money. Let me see, would they allow me? Oh shoot! Yo, they shooting, bro, they shooting. Who does that? They shooting. I don't even think they don't allow me. Like you know, when you're trying to use your credit, let's see. Would they allow me to still purchase it without going to the bank? <laughs> you don't have enough money, bro. All right, so let's let's go to the bank real quick. We have to go to the bank and get some money real quick. Um, I guess let's drive the Porsche. I just want a car that's gonna be convenient right now. Whoa, whoa, dude! Slow down, man. All right, the Porsche is convenient right now because it's up front. Let's go. All right, so we're going straight to the bank. Remember, we had to do that last time. We had to purchase the um, another motorcycle garage, but the bank is right there though. So, whoa, really, Mustang? Yeah, as I was saying about the Hellcat trying to do a flyby, he tried it, man. He tried it. He probably thought that was a stock GTR. That's the only thing I could think of. I was like, maybe he thought that was a stock GTR, bro. I mean, these Hellcat can actually smoke stock GTRs now for real, though. I'm just happy I did my upgrades. Let's see. All right, so let's get some money real quick. And then after that, we can actually go purchase this property. I think it's close to a million dollar now. All right, let's wait after this lady, though. All right, guys, now that we have our money, uh, let's get out of here. By the way, there's no way you can actually do this in real life. Just take out a million dollar like that. There's no way we can actually do that like that, man. <laughs> yo, I remember yo, I remember one time I went to the bank because I had to go on vacation and they only allowed cash. I had to like, you know, transfer cash, um, not just transfer cash, but convert cash to different, you know, for whatever country we was going to. And there was giving me an issue for 10k, bro. I could just imagine somebody trying to get like way more. I remember one time I was trying to get like over a hundred. Like, bro, I'm like, yo, are y'all serious right now? Like, yeah, man. That was just crazy. But I could just imagine us trying to take out a million dollar, bro. Anyway, we just took out a million dollar, so it is what it is. I'm just talking about in real life. All right, so um, let's park this here. And let's go inside and let's let's give them the money. I think it was for nine hundred thousand or something like that. Nine sixty something. I'm just guessing right now. All right, give me my place, man. We ain't so we we end up owning three apartment at this location. So nine hundred and sixty-eight k. I'll take that. Yeah, y'all can't say nothing. So this is apartment two. All right, so what we're gonna do is move in all these SUVs one by one. So let's start with the Porsche. Definitely shout out to all you guys that did. So you guys let me know what SUV am I missing? Like the Teslas? Let me know, man. All right, so we'll start with the Porsche. I just so one thing I just realized. So Mercedes started doing that too. Porsche was the first car that I drove, and I realized like. 
the map was like on on the dash. I mean, not you know like the info system or whatever. The map was like you know right in front of you, which was pretty cool, man. Now I I mean I just got a new Benz. And they do that with the men's now too, which is pretty cool, man. Where I don't have to look to the side for the map. I just look right in front of me and the map is like right there. Look at the lights. I thought those were diamonds, bro. <laughs> All right, so guys here. Welcome to my new apartment. I knew this was going to take some time. That's why I decided to do like a full episode on it. Welcome to the new apartment. Let's move the next vehicle. So we got the Porsche. The next vehicle is going to be the Jeep. I'm just going to go in, in that order right now. I can actually switch it up. All right, so the Jeep is next. Oh, we put a Hellcat engine on that. <laughs> we put a Hellcat engine. Yo, there's a lot of people doing that now where they have the Jeep and they put Hellcat engine on them. Or if not Hellcat, a Trackhawk engine on them. Would you guys do that? I would definitely do something like that. Look at the lights, bro. Somebody look at this. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. When you think about it, that was some nice lights. Where I want to see that again. I want to see that again. That was pretty cool. I'm not gonna take it out. Oh, it just gets so bright in here, though. That's pretty cool. We could actually take this off road for a day or something like that. Let me know, guys. But SUV, I mean SUV garage. Do you guys want me to bring some like old school SUV? Because I do have my X5, which is gonna be a pretty cool SUV to bring in. All right, so we do. We'll do like the new um. This new X. This is the X6M. With the M badge, man. I don't know if I get a BMW, I have to get one with an M badge, bro. I have to. I mean, I've seen the stock one. My auntie had the stock one. I mean, I know how I feel. I know how I feel already. But I have to get like I don't know. So 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 one thing though, guys. Oh, you guys team Mercedes or team BMW? I, I always feel like there's a beef between BMW and Mercedes. Like once I see BMWs make a model or some type of like new thing that they did, Mercedes does it. Or if Mercedes does something first, BMW does it too. So you, you guys let me know, man. Are you team Mercedes or team BMW right now? Let me know. All right, no, I'm team. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm team G wagon because we missing that right now. The Euros. Can you guys imagine Ferrari about to bring out an SUV? Are you guys ready for that? I think it would be fun. The only thing Ferrari's cool, but I like to customize myself, and I don't think they will like the way I customize myself. So I don't know, unless they give me like a free car or something like that. <laughs> but you know what? My one of my favorite Ferraris, the four five eight. I'll take the four five, the four five eight at any time. The four eight eight is cool, but once you once you get into a four five eight, bro, it's hard to get out of it. All right, so we got four cars in here so far. I'm gonna taxi um back to my mechanic. Wait, I can't. Oh, I was about to say I can't get out, bro. All right, just like I said, man. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this episode. Happy Thanksgiving to all you guys, man. Happy Turkey Day. Enjoy, bro. Enjoy, enjoy. Don't eat too much now. Actually, I'm not doing like I remember last year for Thanksgiving we went to um, CC's family. This year we we decided to chill, man. Especially after this robbery thing that just happened, man. We decided to chill. We're just gonna chill home and just you know enjoy our time with the baby. Trying to do our tradition stuff. Like she's gonna cook. I'm gonna try to help with the cooking too. Like you know we're just gonna chill. Family time, man. And just do our thing, man. Just chilling. I hope you guys do the same. Spend the time with your family. And uh, let's see. Most of the time. So one of the main reason why I decided to chill this year too. Like I have um I lost my grandma a couple years ago. I'm so used to like just going to her place and just pick up a plate. I know some of you guys does that. But um if I was in New York, I know I could pick up like five plates, bro. 
but I'm not in New York right now. I'm all the way in ATL. If I was in New York, I'll pick up like a couple of plates. That's what I used to do. But grandma was like that plate. You have to go over there and eat it right in front of her. She used to do that. I could pick take a plate to go, but I have to eat that first plate in front of her, bro. <laughs> it's like everybody said she'd be like, yo, four five o'clock. You better be here. Oh, uh, you, you it's going to be your loss for real. And she used to be hooking it up, bro. She used to put both feet in that plate, bro. I mean, <laughs> that's just saying like the food is good. The food was really good. Like, you know, when she, once you haven't had like a good homemade cooked meals like that, well, where are the cops coming from? And he's saying, come here. All right, so let's call a taxi. Let's not the downtown cab, but my company, downtown cab. This one. All right, so I have a couple more cars. So, guys, I have, I'm going to be left with probably like two space. You guys let me know what other vehicle are we missing? I know we're definitely missing that G Wagon. I wanted to go inside like one of those garage and make sure that I have some too. Can I get a cab right away? No problem. Yeah, I'll I need a cab. A I should minutes. be walking Appreciate over there, man, because we haven't been hitting the gym in a minute. I know, I know, I know. But you know what? We call a cab already. So we're going to take a cab all the way to D2. So I have to X5, and I'm not sure what is this again. But we'll be there in a minute. And just like I said, I appreciate y'all, man. And also, thank you for all the support on the channel, man. So, guys, um, the store is closed. Like, yo, I, man, I got so pissed. I got so pissed. But you know, it was a family that got the last PS5 that I was trying to get from Best Buy, bro. They got the last PS5. I was pissed, but I was like, you know what? The kid looked happy. I'm just gonna let it be. Now I'm thinking, like, should we do like an Xbox for the giveaway? Oh, this is oh, I forgot. I put the Bentayga. All right, the Bentayga should be next. Look at that X5 though, man. The X5 right here bring back so much memory because my uncle used to own one of these and he used to think like that's the best SUV ever when I'm like, nah, my dad's forerunner was better. I remember one time they even did a race, bro. That's how that's how that's how we used to go this and you guys probably realize that's why I always be racing and stuff like that. Cause yo, it was always it was always a challenge when it comes to like my dad, my uncles. Like it was always a challenge. Even like when we play soccer, when we, whatever we playing, bro. It was always like that. But you know what? Hey man, that's I guess that's that's what kind of made me like that. I'm always up for a challenge, bro. You tell you so just tell me the when and where. I got you. That is if it's possible. <laughs> All right, let's turn this. All right, so Ben Taker. I don't have that much Bentley. That's one thing I realized I don't have. This is a nice SUV garage, bro. What am I missing? I know some of you guys probably have the answer right now. I'm definitely missing a Forerunner because I, I, you know, my dad got me used to Forerunners, bro. Like for real. All right, let's call the cab again. And we definitely missing a Benz, bro. I mean, not just a G wagon, the GLE or something like that. Hey. You know what? Instead Stay of putting two BMW, right corner, what you guys saying? You. Putting a Benz or something like that. Let's let's go into our Benz garage. I think this is it right here. Let's go into our Benz garage real quick. I'm gonna go into the Benz garage and see what's up. What at man? Come on, taxi. Let's go, man. Let's go. I'm in a hurry. Take me to that spot, bro. Hurry up, hurry up. I need to be there like ASAP, bay. Cause I'm trying to make it to Thanksgiving dinner, bro. No way. Right. So you already know where we're going. We're going to our Auntie Denise. I don't know why I always think about that Lamar. That Lamar line, she got. <laughs> nah, let me stop. <laughs> Your Auntie Denise, bro. We about to see over there. Are we gonna see um what you got? Mama's boy over there, Clay. Clay pen. All right, what's the SUVs at? G wagon. You know we can't go. We can't go without the G wagon, bro. 
Okay, so this this SUV right here is not bad though, but this is the Brabus version. What is this though? This is like a GL. What is it? I know this is Brabus. They just call it the D30. I don't know. What is the real? So I saw one of these the other day. My G wagon smoked it. <laughs> he was trying to keep up. I was like, yo, you forgot. This is a G wagon over 700 horsepower, bro. All right, we're going to bring the G wagon over there. My G wagon smoked it, bro. And I told you guys what happened to the G wagon, bro. I don't know if this is this. I think I probably told you guys on that episode already. While we were driving, I don't know if it was CC or me, a rock hit the front of the truck. And uh, we lost our AC and we lost our heat too. That's why I was like, maybe the AC. I know it's usually not to get all oh shoot. There's a cop behind me. We gone, we gone, bro. That cop is not catching us, bro. That cop is not catching this G, bro. You hear them? You, you hear them turskies, bro? That cop is not catching this G wagon tonight. Oh, sir. I mean, it's tonight for me, but you know, they shit from the game. Oh, I don't need to be speeding anymore. But look at the interior, bro. So, guys, instead of getting. So, I've been thinking about this. My boy Joey put me on this. Instead of getting the new G Wagon, all G Wagon run perfectly. I was thinking about changing the interior of our G Wagon into the new one. I don't like the new body. I'm, this is just me. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, "What? Why do you like the old one?" I don't like the new body because it's. I just don't like it. I just don't like this. I don't like it. I don't. It looks nice though. It looks smaller. <laughs> but um, I was thinking about switching my G, um, the interior of the G wagon into like you know, the new version. Let me know if that's a good idea though. That's especially coming from y'all. All right, so guys, um, okay, so we got the G wagon, we got the Range Rover, Urus, the X7. Main reason why I haven't put it in here because um, the X7 that I have is a bad um version. So we're gonna skip the X7 for now. Um, we got the Trackhawk, we got the Ur oh the Rolls Royce. We need the Rolls Royce. We need the Colonel, bro. The calling in definitely got to be in here. Let's go get it. We have to go get the calling in, bro. Soon as possible. On its All way, right, sir. Thanks for calling. All right, so we're going to the Rose Race Garage, which happened to be right over here. Um, I guess they can actually. Where were is that the right garage? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. I was. You, you see, I had to check myself real quick. All right. Was the taxi gate here? I need some food too, man. You guys think I can actually get them to stop? No, no, actually, when I get the car, I like I don't like yo making Uber stop at like that extra stop, yo. These people be I mean, depends on the driver you get. But last driver that I had for Uber, bro, because my G okay, so talking my story time. My GTL was getting some work done on. You guys remember the problem that I had with uh with the parking and all that stuff. Where my transmission was just stripping, and uh, I decided to take an Uber. I was like, "Yo, do you mind stopping at Chick Fil A? I had to stop this and that." Yo, tell me why this girl just start having attitude and all that stuff. I was like, "You know what? You could drop me off right here. You could drop me off right here." It, it turned me off so much to the point where I just wait until the GTR was done and just took my own self to Chick Fil A. <laughs> it's real. Cause it was like, yo, really though? Like, why are you tripping over? Like, yo, I just need one stop, one stop. That was it. Like, I ain't asked for anything. I was like, and, and when you add the stop for, oh shoot, wrong garage, <laughs> wrong garage. <laughs> all right, that was all Lambo garage. So I'm guessing it's the third one. Let's go, man. We got an SUV garage. But you guys let me know what am I missing? Like I know some of you guys gonna be like the Land Cruiser, uh Forerunner. What else? It, should I put a Kia up in there too? What else? We we we're about to grab the Colin in right now. Yeah, I'll take this Colin in because it's, it's a little bit more low profile. 
other than the other one. I just realized like how much the other one, how much memory the other one actually take, which was not good. No, 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 no. Come on, man. Go straight. What is this thing doing? Ah, oh, come on, bro. Are you serious right now? It's trying not to let me out. This is not me driving, by the way. This is automatic driving. What is this, bro? Am I going to have to go like back in? Can I get out? I can't even get out the car, bro. This is so oh my god, this is so irritating. This is so irritating, bro. All right, I might have to use menu for this, guys. This is so irritating, bro. Come on, man. Like who was trying to make a U-turn? All right, I'm using Mania, bro. No, nah, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Franklin, 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 Franklin. Let's get it together. What about if I put you out here? Oh shoot! Oh, I done damaged the car. Are oh, you still gonna try to get back in there? I know you guys probably be laughing at me right now, but it's so not funny. What are you doing, Franklin, bro? What are you doing? Are you serious right now? So he brought me back so I can actually buzz myself back in. All right, so we can't take the Colin in. All right, we can't take the Colin in out. That is not fair. That is not fair. Once we bring it back in, though, is gonna the damage is just gonna go away. But that is not fair. All right, so no Colin in for now. All right, I'm gonna try one more time, guys. I'm going to try one more time. Please don't laugh at me. <laughs> GTA glitches, bro. Ah, come on. Don't turn the wheel. Don't turn the wheel. Keep the wheel straight. Keep the wheel straight. Bro, I cannot make this up. What about if I take the, car, the, the truck all the way away from here? Is he still going to try to get back in here? All right. What about if I take it away from the garage? Like, I put it all the way over here. Bro, come on, Franklin. Can I just take the Colin in? I just want to take it out of there. Bro, he's really driving back. Franklin, come on, work with me here. Work with me here, bro. Oh, we got stars. He's just damaging it. All right, I gave up, guys. I gave up. I gave up. Can I get out? I can't get out. As you can see, every time I click get out, it just put it back on cruise. Come on, man. Come on. Can I just get out? All right. We're going to buzz this back in guys. So the calling in is a no go. So I'm going to have to get my like custom calling in. All right. I'm leaving the calling in alone. The, at least this one. Bro, are you serious, Franklin? You just take me back upstairs, bro. All right. So which other garage? McLaren don't have no SUV. Um, Ferrari don't have the SUV yet. Um, we already got the Porsche SUV. Uh, what other garage? We already got the Lambo garage SUV. We got the Hellcat. We got the BMW. Do we have another BMW? Um, I'm gonna call a taxi real quick. Man, that was a disaster. Trying to take this Colin in out. Uh. Downtown cab, please come through. I gotta find out where I'm going though. Hey, can I get a cab? I'm sending one out right now. Cool. And that's my cue. All right, so guys, we'll finish the SUV garage next time. I hope you guys are all going to enjoy this. I guess the Rolls Royce messed us up. As you guys can see, this is a blank screen, and it's telling me that I've. I spawned too many cars. <laughs> Other than that, guys, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are enjoying your turkey and all that. But definitely, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate y'all. Until next time, guys. Peace.